Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Virat Kohli, captain of the Indian cricket team, is here to address the press conference. Before you ask a question, kindly identify yourselves and if you wish to ask a question, please raise your hand. And we will not have any supplementary questions. If you wish to ask again, kindly raise your hand again. England convincing winners against Australia in their recent series. Are you confident that you can provide them with a much sterner test? Yeah, definitely we are. We, we believe in our abilities as a team and um, we obviously have a lot of T20 experience. We just come off the IPL and a couple of games uh, against Ireland as well where the team has looked great and um, look, obviously in T20 cricket the wickets are going to be um, you know, something that provide entertainment to the crowd. So there's no one team that has an advantage uh, in this format. I feel anyone who plays well on, on that particular day has uh, better chances of winning and we, we expect England to come hard at us and um, you know, we certainly want to play some um, positive and hard fought cricket and um, it's going to be an exciting series for sure. Um, we believe that we have the side to uh, put up a great fight um, and if we win the crucial moments then anything can happen on the day. As I said in T20 cricket you have to be at your absolute best because the game is so short and you don't have second chances but uh, we're pretty confident as a side. Well, you know, when you have a total on the board, it's always, um, you know, something that you think of as a team that the opposition has to get those runs. And um, if, if you're batting second as well, you break down how many you have to score and then accordingly you, you pace your innings and set the tempo for, for uh, the batting innings. And, that's pretty much what you follow. I mean, it doesn't matter, you know, if you if you bat it first, whether you have 170 on the board or 230 on the board. Um, the opposition has to get it. And um, as I said, when you have a target in mind or a target in front of you, um, then you play accordingly. You break down your innings according to that. So as I said, we've had enough T20 experience to know what to do when, and we just expect the guys to put their hands up on on that particular day and do the job for the team. Yes. Uh, Virat, uh, there's so much T20 mm -hmm. cricket. T20 leagues going around and you know the world T20 is more than two years away so in that sense how much importance or value does a bilateral T20 series at this moment hold for the players? Well this has been something that <coughs> has been spoken about in, in the past as well where um, you know few teams have said that it's it's inconsequential and they haven't felt motivated to um, be playing that series. I would agree with that if something like that happens at the at the fag end of a big tour, um, but I think at the, at the start of any tour, if whatever games you're getting to play, it's it's obviously you're as excited, uh, you know, as the other team, um, and you don't feel like there's no point of playing these games, um, especially when you're playing against a strong side uh, like England, who have been playing good cricket. You have a chance to test yourselves, your skills as T20 players, and that's something that we're looking forward to. Um, but yeah, the major tournament being away, I think it gives you an opportunity to try uh, a lot of players uh, and try a lot of bench strength, a lot of fringe players that you might look at potentially in the future as well, test their characters. So we certainly are in that zone as well. We're going to try a lot of people in T20 cricket in the future and um, you know see where their skills are, where their uh, mindset is and, and work out accordingly who's the next slot to come in, especially to the, uh, to the limited overs uh, format and then from there on they can build on it and probably play rice cricket as well. I, I think your plan was to come and play for Surrey for a month or so. Did you feel you needed to acclimatise to English conditions? And obviously, how much of a setback was it that you weren't, you weren't able to come? Looking at the weather now, not at all. <laughs> I mean, it's you know it's as dry as I've seen it um, ever. And uh, the point was that we haven't played in those you know those wet uh, and and um, damp conditions ever as a team. And uh, having spoken to the guys who've come here and have played, they said it was a great experience for them learning a, new, a lot more things about their games. Um, especially I spoke to Pujara and, and Nishant as well, who've been here before. And they said it's a great side to be a part of. Um, you know, it's, it's a great time to play <coughs> cricket there. And um, I, as, a, as a cricketer, you look for new challenges every now and then. And uh, that's something that I wanted to go and, and experience. Um, because we don't get to play so much cricket here before we come on tour, uh, that was the main reason behind because all these guys come during the IPL and they get a feel of all how the wickets are and, and all those sort of things. So from that point of view, I thought, why can't we do it? You know, why can't we go over and, and 
play in those conditions and get to know and and get to know how the pitches work and all that. But looking at the weather, it's it's totally opposite to what it was, you know, when the when the season was going on. So I don't think it's it's something that, in hindsight, when I look at it now, would have made uh, too much of a difference um, for my preparation. It's going to carry on apparently for weeks like this. It's great. <laughs> Hi, Captain. Uh, your thoughts on the batting order in Ireland? We saw that there were a few changes in the batting order and we won both the games completely. So, is that the trend you're going to uh, see here? Well, we're certainly going to be a lot more flexible. Uh, the idea of having guys go up and down the order there was give everyone a go. Um, guys would score in the first game and who wanted game time in the second. Um, yeah, but we're going to be very uh, flexible as a batting unit. We're not going to be one dimensional. Um, and that's something that that we've spoken about as a batting unit, and you know we, we could throw in surprises here and there through the through the whole uh, length of the batting innings, and because it's not such a long batting innings, you can afford to do that. Um, even if the situation is not ideal, after taking a decision, you can still work on it, capitalize a bit. But again, you got to be positive. So there's not much time for you to you know think about um, if the situation has gone wrong or it hasn't. You certainly have to go on with the game, and that allows us to be a, a lot more flexible. And uh, that's something that we're definitely going to uh, look at doing this in, in this series. I will have three more questions in English and final one in Hindi. Yes. Uh, David Wilson, uh, Daily Mirror. Um, touched on, on the IPL earlier. Just from the English perspective, you know, the largest number of England players in the IPL this season. Um, how impressed were you by the quality of some of those England players, in particular maybe Josh Butler? Do you think having so many England players playing in India will increase the familiarity between the teams and the way you get about things? I think it certainly has already. Um, I'm not surprised with the way Joss has played. I mean, we, we've all known about his ability in the past as well. It's just that he's gotten more opportunity playing for Rajasthan um, in this season to show his skill set and he's certainly enjoying that role at the top of the order and he you know, grabbed his chances with both hands and um, it was lovely to watch him play the way he was because when you gain momentum in this format and you continue for that long, uh, it, it always uh, feels good to watch. So from that point of view, yeah, I really enjoyed watching him bat. Um, apart from that, you know, Chris, Moin, these guys were in, in our team as well and great guys. I mean, we had a great time together, all of us, um, you know, got along really well. And as you said, it's, it's going to make um, relations between the two teams even better because I think because England haven't played so much IPL cricket, there was never that familiarity or uh, you know that sort of um, warmth between the two teams as much as we have um, with the other teams. Purely because we don't, we didn't know the guys, we didn't know them enough to be able to have a conversation with them. But I think this season has has sort of um, broken that barrier to a certain to a great extent, and um, it's going to continue to happen in future. I heard a lot of people are keen to go and play. Um, and they should. Why not? I mean, it's it's a great league to play, and um, as Joss has been saying for months now, that it has done great things to his mindset, and he's taking that on in every format. So um, uh, yeah, I was really glad to see that the the rigid mindset was sort of you know uh, kept on the side, and people are allowed to come over, and it it did great things to them, and it's going to do great things to global cricket as well. And you know, each other's games. Right? Stop. Yeah, I mean, it's it's. Obviously, when you play day in day out together, you know each other's games, but it makes it more exciting to go out than and outdo the other person, knowing that they know your game now and you've got to come up with something more. So I think in hindsight, when you look at it from a different perspective, it's going to make you improve your game even more because you can't stick to what you've been doing for long because the guy knows you now. So you've got to stay ahead of the game, and I think it's that's why I said it's going to take the standard of the cricket up. Yes, Agra. We have a couple of questions. One is, uh, this is such a long to 80 odd days. Other than aspiring to win the series, what is it that you would like to leave with? And a year down the line, you have the World Cup. We start with the Lagrado's Lego series. Um, what are the one or two areas that you would like India to address? Well, the takeaway from this tour obviously will um, be the way we play our cricket and uh, the mindset and the attitude we maintain for the length of the tour that we're here. Um, no one can guarantee results, um, but just wanting to win every session and every ball that we play, uh, if we can carry that on for the length of the tour, I'll be really proud as a captain and um, we'll be really proud of ourselves as a team. This is what we did in South Africa till, till the last day of the tour. We continued the mindset from day one, even though we lost two games. But we knew where we were in the games, um, you know, for us to be able to turn it around very, very quickly, and that's why those results followed after. And 
if the mindset is not right after a few days or a couple of weeks then things can get more difficult but if we can stay positive enjoy each other's company and just look forward to being here um for that period of time and just look forward to being on the field and playing competitive cricket i think we'll be in a great space as a team and we'll certainly take a lot uh, from this tour uh, when we go away and looking at the world cup as i said we're going to try a lot of players in in the shorter formats um the middle order in in the odis has been something that's we've, that's something that we've been looking for so we have a few things that we want to try out and address there as well so yeah this this next phase is going to be really important for us to figure all those things out and and have the best balance that we need uh, going into that big tournament but that's quite far away but yeah that that's our vision for us that's been a final question final question in english yes very yeah. early from the garden just in light of past experiences in england what is this tour in its entirety all three formats what does it mean to you personally as a batsman what are your sort of targets and goals you know so surprisingly or funnily enough i i don't think from the um, Uh, public or you know the outside point of view i even when we came here for champions trophy that was the first question that was asked and my reply was i'm just looking forward to having a good time here you know it, it doesn't matter whether i get runs or i don't get runs what i want is the team to play well and the team to win obviously you want to perform as a as a individual as well but um, i haven't set any benchmarks or a target to come here and do certain things which have to be special just because the last tour that i came here on didn't go well um so i'm certainly not you know expecting anything or putting any targets as such i just want the team to play good cricket here and i want to be able to lead from the front and that's always been my mindset for for the the time that i've been captain i just want the team to play well and myself to contribute as well as much as i can and nothing changes here i mean for me it's just a set of international games in another country and the mindset remains the same yes so now that's the final question yeah. इंडिया में जो अभी है मतलब हवा थोड़ी ठंडी है मैं ये नहीं भूलूंगा की हवा भी सेम है लेकिन एक अच्छा फेमिलियरिटी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से एक एक वो एक कंफर्ट की चीज़ हो जाती है जब आपको ऐसा वेदर मिलता है आते ही और आ, सब लोग बहुत अच्छे माइंडसेट में जैसे हम खेला आयरलैंड में वो दिख भी रहा था काफ़ी खुश है सब लोग टीम में और काफ़ी रिलैक्स्ड हैं तो हम लोग जैसे मैंने बोला हम हम चाहते हैं कि हम फील्ड पे जाके कंपेटिटिव क्रिकेट खेलें और एक अच्छी टीम के साथ उनके कंडीशन में उनको हराने का मौका होना एक एक्साइटमेंट की चीज़ है हमारे लिए ना कि प्रेशर क्योंकि जब वो लोग लास्ट टाइम आए थे तो हम सीरीज जीते थे तो ट्रॉफी हमारे साथ है वो अपने घर में खेल रहे हैं उनको अच्छा खेलना ही पड़ेगा हम लोग फेयरलेस क्रिकेट खेलने वाले हैं हमारे को लिटरली वी हैव नथिंग टू लूज और हम लोग जाके अपने आप को एक्सप्रेस करेंगे हर फॉर्मेट में और अपना टाइम एंजॉय करेंगे यहाँ पे और एज ए टीम जैसे मैंने बोला कि अगर हमारा वो माइंड पूरे टूर में मेनटेन रह पाएगा तो हम लोग एज ए टीम और इम्प्रूव करके जाएंगे यहाँ से जो हमारा मेन एम है थैंक यू कैप्टन